How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this comparison video between the Adidas X Crazy Fast Point 2s and the Nike Mercurial Vapor Pro um, Editions uh, FG boots, both are FG. Um, but I believe the Crazy Fast you can wear them... Uh, actually no, they're about the same, the, the stud patterns. So you can both wear them on AG or 4G, 3G pitch, but just be careful um, because both sole plate patterns are quite aggressive so you could slip or twist the ankle so just be be cautious when wearing on the um, 3g 4g pitches maybe wear some uh, socks with some grips on to help with stability and allow your uh, foot to not move around too much on the football boots so just be careful on that sense now both football boots <coughs> are the takedown models from the elite edition so obviously from the point ones or plus when it comes to the Adidas Crazy Fast or the uh, Mercura Vapor Elite. So yeah, they're both takedown models, um, but both, in my opinion, are really, really good takedown models for a speed boot. The Mercura Vapor Pro, in my opinion, is a bit more accommodating for wide feet players because of this uh, midfoot area. It's much more stretchier um, than the X Crazy Fast Point 2s. Um, they're still very, very comfortable, the Crazy Fast Point 2s, um, and they can still accommodate wide feet players. But I would recommend if you go for the Adidas Point 2 to get the Point 2s to actually try them on first before um, buying them. Because, in my opinion, they run a bit more narrow in the midfoot, um, in midfoot area. So, if you've got wide feet, do try them on first before buying. And if you want a speed, foot, speed boot that's, and you've got very wide feet, Again, try them on or go a half or one size up. And if they still feel uncomfortable, then go for a control uh, football boot. So in terms of um, the sizing and feet types, the Mercurial Vapor Pro is a bit more accommodating, even though there isn't much difference between the two um, between the two speed boots. But once you put your foot into the football boots on, it's very, very comfortable, whichever one you go for. Um, I had no problems um, at all. And after two to three training sessions of wearing these i broke into broke into them straight away um really really comfortable and soft material uh, for a takedown model or a pro version of the speed boots so yeah i highly recommend whichever one you go for um they won't let you down of course the sole plates as you can see is a bit more cheaper material in terms of the plastics um, but it doesn't take much, it doesn't really affect or do too much difference. Um, after maybe a week or two, uh, the football boots will break into or mold into your feet type and it'll be really, really comfortable and you can use them for matches or trainings or like weekday kickabouts. So yeah, both boots are really, really nice and really good. And I highly recommend them for anyone that wants a speed boot <coughs> but hasn't got the money um, to get the elite models. Um, to go for these, especially if you want something that's similar to the Elite models with the material and the feel, feeling of the of the boot. So like the Pros, they've got a night skin, which just like the Elites have. Um, and I don't know about the Adidas, if they've got the, is it the Adi Touch, I think it is. I'm not too sure, but again, the material feels fairly similar to the Point Ones. Um, and also with the lacing system, it's all exactly like the Point One versions. So really isn't much difference and you save £100, so especially as with Christmas coming, you'll be able to get some deals, maybe even get it cheaper, £80, uh, £70 or £100 for these um, with discounts. So do look out for them, especially for Christmas time or New Year New Year deals. Um, yeah, so I really highly recommend whichever one you go for, um, for speed boots, um, <clears throat> for these two, sorry, uh, both are really good. Um, and if you have wide feet or very wide feet, do try them on first before deciding. And make sure to leave a comment down below on the comment section which ones you prefer and which ones you go for. As that really does help out with people making a decision on getting a pair of football boots, especially these two, um, as, as it does help out. And yeah, I'll see you next time for another comparison video. All the very best and take care.